Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your Garmin Echo Map device using the software that you can get for free off Garmin's website. There's a couple of ways you can update this unit. One method is you can download the Active Captain app to your smartphone, and then you can connect wirelessly to your Garmin unit and do the update that way. That's the way I actually did this update the last time I performed an update about a year and a half ago. The method that I'm going to show you today is using a Windows PC and a micro SD card. I'll show you step by step from start to finish how you can update the software in your Garmin Echo Map unit. Before you update your Garmin unit, you should go into the settings and see what your current software version is. So if you click your settings button on your home screen, go to system, go to system information, and then click software information. You'll see my current software version is version 18. You can go back to your home screen. Now on your computer, if you open up a web browser and you Google Garmin Echo Map Software Update, one of the first links is going to take you to the Garmin's website for your Echo Map unit. So on this page, it shows you the current version that's available, which is 2023.0406. Here, it looks like it was released on April 6th, 2023. Here's the button you can click to download the software. I'm going to go ahead and click download. And while that's downloading, we need to see what kind of an SD card we have to have. So the Garmin Echo Map units use a micro SD card. That's the small SD chip that looks like this. So I have a, an adapter that that's going to go in into my computer because my computer has a full size slot. And you can see that the unit is compatible with minimum card size of 8 gig or maximum card size of 32 gig. The micro SD card I have is a 16 gig card. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the side of my laptop. Once it's in my laptop, you want to make sure you format your SD card. To format your card, first, make sure you don't have anything on it. Mine's blank. But if you have something on there you need to get off and save, make sure you copy that to your computer. But the easiest way to format a card is when you put your mouse over your SD card and you right click in your menu, you can choose format. FAT32 is the format we want. The website said it needed to be in FAT32 format, so this is the default. You can just click start. Say OK. This is going to erase anything that's on your SD card and format it. It won't take but a few seconds, and it's done. Format complete. So now we have a formatted SD card. Okay, the download is complete. On the installation instructions page on Garmin's website, it walks you through the steps, but I'm going to walk you through them and show you how to do these steps. So that file should have downloaded to the download file on your computer if you're using a Windows computer. So in my downloads folder, you'll see here's the zip file that was downloaded. I'm going to double click that, say extract all. It's going to put it in my downloads folder and create a new folder here. So I'm just going to say extract. That's done. Now the instruction said you want to take this Garmin folder and drag and drop it or copy and paste it to your SD card folder. So my SD card folder on my computer is this SDHC folder. So if you wanted to copy and paste it, you could right click it, choose copy, or you can hold it down with your left mouse button and drag and drop it to that SD card. Let it go. You'll copy it there. So if you're going to use the copy and paste method, you would right click, choose copy, go to your SD card, right click, and choose paste. I'm not going to choose that because I did the drag and drop method. And here's my progress on that. So it completed copying the Garmin file over to the SD card. Properly eject your SD card. You want to right click your SD card and choose eject. 
then it will tell you it's safe to remove your SD card. So now I have the Garmin software on this micro SD card. Let's take a look at the instructions and see what the next steps are. Power on the device. They're talking about our Garmin device. Make sure all attached network devices are powered on. So if you have a Garmin network where you have numerous devices connected all that are Garmin, make sure you have those devices powered on. Insert the card into the card slot on your primary device. Choose the appropriate update option from the on-screen prompt. After the update completes, all Garmin Marine network devices and NEMA 2000 sensors will have the latest software. So I've only got one Garmin device on my boat, so I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to do this update. So on your Garmin device, in the bottom right corner, there's going to be a door that you can open. This is where your SD card is going to go in. On your SD card, the side with the little circuits on it are the side that goes toward the inside of your unit. So it's going to go just like this in your Garmin device. Push it in. You'll hear it click. So the screen's going to pop up because it recognizes you just put a card in. And we're going to choose software update. So the update takes a long time to complete and must not be interrupted. Continue. Yes. The instructions on the Garmin website say this can sometimes take up to 20 minutes. It says update complete. Select OK to restart the device. Looks like that update took about five minutes total. You can see on boot up, it showed version 24.2. So Garmin's website showed version 23 dot something, but apparently the version itself is a little bit newer than what their website shows. Okay, so it's presenting us with the end user license agreement. We're just going to accept that. Okay, our unit should be updated. I'm going to go ahead and take out the SD card. Let's go to settings. System. System information. Software information. Software version 24.2. Remember, we are version 18 before I did the upgrade. Go back to home. Let's go into settings. System. Scroll down. Go to simulator. On. Okay. Simulator on. Go home. Let's look at Live Scope. So, this is the simulator for Live Scope. It's hard to tell what's actually changed in this update in simulator mode. I won't really know until I get out on the water. It's showing LVS 34 simulator, and I actually have an LVS 32. Try and look at some of the settings here and see if much changed. So sonar setup, let's look at first TVG. That looks to be the same. Noise reject, ghost reject. So it defaulted everything from what I had it before. I usually keep my, my ghost reject down on low or off. I'll see if this update made any enhancements to that to where I may want to use ghost reject more. Noise reject, that looks to be the same. See if there's any new color palettes. It left my color gain at 90%, so that's good. I usually keep my color gain cranked up pretty high. Color schemes. I'm not seeing any new color schemes that I can recall. I use black emerald a lot, so I'm just going to leave it on there. So overall, I'm not noticing a whole lot in the way of changes. 
I'll have to go back through and read the notes to see what's changed from version 18 to this version 24. The real test is going to come when I put the boat on the water and start testing this unit out to see if the software update added any new enhancements or changed the settings at all. I may do a part two video on the water showing you if there was any significant changes to this Garmin unit after updating the software to the latest version. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Please click like on this video if you like this kind of content that really helps these videos out on YouTube. Please also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate that.